Guys, are you looking for a very useful power bank that will charge everything in every way and won't break the bank? Well, here it is, and it's coming right up. What's up, YouTube? Dave here with Scene Through a Lens, and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, today I am taking a look at this 10,000 milliamp, yeah, 10,000 milliamp power bank. Now, I'm calling this a power bank, but actually it's a mag-on power bank. So. That means it has the ability to use magnetic wireless charging. So before we get into it, I'm just going to say that Vega sent me this Magon power bank in exchange for my honest opinion and review. But you know, guys, that whether I buy it or whether I'm sent it, you're always going to get an honest opinion from me, good, bad or indifferent. So before we get started, let's get this unboxed and see what we have. Now guys, opening up the packaging, we have the power bank. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable, more on that in a minute. We also have some instructions and a warranty card. So looking at the power bank itself, you know what? It feels solid in the hand and quite thick. I mean, I guess that's due to the fact that this has that whopping 10,000 milliamp battery in it. Now, on the front, we have the wireless charging base. On the top, we have a lanyard. Move to the side, we've got some LEDs that show charge status. And on the other side, we've got a wake button to fire it up when it's dormant. Now, we move to the bottom and we've got ports, which is cool. We've got a USB-C port, a USB-A port, and a lightning port. So guys, remember that cable? Well, if you plug the USB-A in, you can power a USB-C device or other way around, you can plug in the USB-C into the power bank and then charge the power bank from a USB-A wall plug. So that's kind of neat. These ports are kind of like input-output ports. Now, if you're solely in the Apple ecosystem, you can use your lightning cable that you get with your phone to charge up the power bank. So you know what? It's pretty versatile. Now, snapping this on to my iPhone 13 mini and you know what? You can see it fits and the magnets hold the phone pretty well but because of the size of it you can see that there's a bit of overhang on the bottom now same test on an iphone 13 pro let's get that there and you can see it's a much better fit no overhang at the bottom but due to the weight of it the magnet although it's holding it pretty well it doesn't feel quite as good as it does on the Mini. But, you know what? That's good enough, right? Now, when I compare this to the Apple MagSafe charger, well, you can already see that it's much smaller, much, you can't see that it's much lighter, but take it from me, and it's also much thinner as well. And I feel like the magnets are a lot stronger but I'm sure this has something to do with the size and weight and because of the size and weight of the Apple charger this only has a 1460 milliamp battery 10,000 milliamps 1460 milliamps and no cable connectors only the connection to charge it so it's only a magnetic wireless charger. So what does that 1,400 milliamps and the 10,000 milliamps mean in the real world? Well, the iPhone 13 Pro battery in here is about 3,227 milliamps. About, this isn't an in-depth review on the battery in this phone but that means that the apple power bank 
will charge the iPhone 13 Pro to half its capacity. Whereas the Vega, oops, move that out of the way, will charge it over three times. That's fully charge it. Now, you know, fully charge it. Now that's where you're gonna benefit from the extra bulk. Also, it's clear that this Apple MagSafe power bank is designed to be snapped on and carried, or snapped on, not carried, but yeah, carried, snapped on to this. And you know what? It feels pretty good. It feels like it's not too thick, not too cumbersome, and especially on the Mini, which to be honest is my favorite device because I just hate big phones, right? Although pretty soon, I don't think there's gonna be much choice, but carrying that around is actually, it's all right. It feels pretty natural. Now, carrying this around, you know, it is that way up. Now that, that feels a lot more bulky and heavy in the hand. So, yeah. I do feel like the Vega, while it does have a decent magnet, it is quite bulky. And maybe it's just meant to be used to charge stuff on a desk or something like that. Because like I said, I don't feel that this would be very pocketable. Now, the other little foible with this is, okay, this is pretty strong, right? And it's going nowhere. But if I rotate this, look, you, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of rotates round really easy. I'm putting no pressure on that. Now, I know you're not rotating this around, but you do get movement in your bag or in your pocket or something like that, which, because of the bulk of it, is going to cause this to kind of rotate. Well, you don't get any of that on the Apple. Now I know the Apple's, can't even pull that off. I know it's kind of rubbery on there, but there's no rotation. So I think with the day-to-day -day movements of getting your phone out your bag or your pocket or whatever, maybe this could drop off. But the upside is it's got cable connections. It's got a massive battery and that makes it a lot more usable for charging many devices, including non-mag devices. I mean, I travel with an iPad quite a lot. This will charge the iPad, no problem. In fact, I've got a first gen, not first generation, the first Retina MacBook uh, laptop. This will charge that. This will not. So guys, there you have it. A quick look at this very versatile power bank with both magnetic wireless charging capabilities as well as cable charging. It packs a punch, as I said, 10,000 milliamps, and that USB-C port will give you up to 20 watts. The USB-A port will give you 22.5 watts, and the lightning cable has an input value of 18 watts. And guys, at around $80, the amount of power you get out of this I think it's pretty cheap. Also guys, I will leave any product links and discount codes in the description should you want to buy one. And guys, if you have any comments or questions, you know what to do. And if you like the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Guys, thanks to you for watching and thanks to Vega for sending me this very capable magnetic wireless charging bank. Guys, I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens. Thanks for watching and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.